Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable nested virtualization in an Azure VM. So nested virtualization is supported in several Azure virtual machine. Uh, this capability provides great flexibility in supporting scenarios such as development, testing, training and demonstration of the environments. This video steps through enabling Hyper-V on an Azure VM and configuring internet connectivity to that goes to that uh, virtual machine that will be deployed in the Hyper-V environment on an Azure VM. So for the steps you have to create a nesting capable Azure VM. We'll create a new Windows Server 2016 Azure VM. You can check the Microsoft documentation which supports uh, the sizes that support the nesting. We'll go with D3 V3 size as your VM. And if you want to check the availability of D3 V, DV3 or EV3 see these virtual machines, you can check for that in the particular region. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. I'm going to create one 2016 VM. I'm going to select Windows Server 2016 Data Center. You might, you all would be familiar with the steps that goes here. So test, test. Okay. Generation one. Username. Then I'm going to go with the password. All right. Selected ports. This is the disk section. One thing I missed, I need to make sure that the size is DS3 underscore V3. So before DS3 V2 V2 V3 DS4 V2 selected it's going to charge you something, many more. The disk, networking. I'm going to go with the default, right? Set everything to off here. No tags, review. What is VM okay 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 and this will be passed and I'm gonna click on create All right, initializing deployment, submitting deployment, deployment in progress. I'm going to click on it. Now it will deploy the VNet, NSGs, everything else. And I have to pause it and I'll come back when it is completed. All right, my deployment is complete. I'm going to go to, go to resource. I'm going to copy the public IP. And I'm going to do MSTSC with the username and password here 52172.175.42 connect and it will prompt me for the username and password. And I click on yes. And I'm connected to my VM. It 
will take me to the desktop pretty quickly. Now I will enable the Hyper-V feature on this Azure VM. You can either configure these settings manually or Microsoft also provide provides a PowerShell script to automate the configuration. So we'll do the nested virtualization manually. So if you would uh, have to enable the Hyper-V feature and management tools, you can go to the PowerShell here. Click on here. Then you can type in inst install Windows feature. Install Windows feature name is Hyper V. include management tools if you hit the tab it will auto complete and then you click on restart hit here hyper v hyper. It, it's hyper v hit enter You see here collecting data, it failed again. The processor does not have required virtualization capabilities. Let me check it. So to check, I will go and check the region of the, it is in central India. So I'll select in central India if this is available or not. Okay, this is not available in central India as of now. So if I go to resource group and I, if I move it to another resource group and if I move it to create a new group resource group so now what I'll do is I will create a new resource group. I'll create a new resource group in East US. And we'll try to move that in East US and show you if it's done or not. Or you can create a VM directly in the East US region and check. You see it is moving resources to the resource group in the East US region. Once it is moved, my VM would be restarted and then I'll log in again and check if I'm able to install the Hyper-V role on that VM. That is how you enable nested VM capabilities on the Azure VMs. I'm going to pause and come back. Okay, now it says successfully moved. So if I go to home, resource groups, And I filter the resource group here, click on it. I see these uh, created. All right. Let's see if it works or not. Let me restart this VM. I have to create this VM again. So let me re delete and recreate it and I'll come back. Okay, new VM is created. I'm going to go to it. I'm going to copy the public IP address, connect to it here. Username and the password. Okay. As soon as I connect, I will install the role of Hyper-V.
this is the command and I see how it goes okay the processor does not have required virtualization capabilities okay I've tried to resize the machine as well I'll try to fix this problem and make this video again but as of now this is how you enable nested virtualization in Azure VM. I hope you liked this video. It didn't went well as I wanted it to be, but nevertheless, you got the idea how to enable nested virtualization on the Azure VM. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.